In this video, I'm gonna show you our proprietary five-step process for creating high-end print publication designs for one of our biggest clients. Print is not dead. Everyone knows that we're living in a digital age. For creative agencies, this means that we always have to change the mediums that we're using to tell the stories that we wanna tell for our clients. However, though the world has drastically changed in regards to how we learn and consume content, some historic mediums have weathered the test of time. Print publications is one of them. This is especially true for brands, since studies show that print has a 77% brand recall rate as opposed to digital media, which has a 46% brand recall rate. What that means is that a consumer is 31% more likely to remember your brand if they've seen it in print rather than digital. And also, the way we interact with print is completely different than digital. Just think about it. With digital media, you're always distracted. You're always multitasking, which is why Burnmouth University, in a study, showed that 60% of consumers don't do anything else at the same time when they're reading a magazine, as opposed to 35% for social media. So if you're a creative agency that's traditionally worked with graphics on print, you feel a little anxiety because you don't want to switch fully to digital. Well, rest assured, print isn't going anywhere anytime soon. In this video, I'm gonna share with you our process for creating one of the biggest and largest creative projects we do for Camarena Health each year. So Camarena Health initially approached us in 2015 to design their annual report. This was the first ever project we ever did for them. Uh, and the goal was to take what would otherwise be seemingly boring content. So facts, figures, data, just numbers and, and translate that into a story that told the impact of what Camarena Health does and all they're doing in the community. So basically take what would be otherwise boring information and present it in a way that's unboring. So that was our task. Now between you and me, the first time we ever did this project, I massively underbid it, about 90% because I had no idea. We'd never done a long form print publication like this before and I didn't know all that was involved. And so over the last seven years, we've been refining our process and I'm gonna skip all the bad stuff that I learned and all the things that I learned the hard way and I'm just gonna give you the matter of fact five step process that we've landed on to create this annual report for Camarena Health. All right, so this is a pretty massive project. It, it, uh, this one deliverable, which is a print publication, it includes nearly all of the disciplines that we have at Butler Branding. So it includes strategy, storytelling, content writing, graphic design, videography, photography for sure, and even web development if we're gonna put it uh, on, on their website and create a digital version of this. And so again, it's a massive project at, that takes pretty much every discipline that we have in-house. And so the process that we have, again, is a five-step proprietary process, and I hope to save you guys a ton of time, energy, and effort. All right, so step one is what we call initial planning. Before, it was just like conversations that I would have with the client. I didn't have any kind of meaningful process laid out for a planning. I was like, okay, what do you guys wanna do? What's all going on? What we've decided is probably the best route to take is to have a annual report committee. Really, that just means from the client's perspective, they have key representatives who are owning it, on their end, and then I have key representatives from my team who are owning this project, right? So obviously as a creative agency, we're gonna have the people that are executing it and we know who's gonna be on there, but the hard part was identifying the people on the client's team who are gonna take ownership because they are a, a healthcare provider with several different departments and nobody was really taking ownership. And so what we found is that there's gonna be two to three people that are on the committee from the client's end and we're working in close collaboration. And so the first step is to have an initial planning meeting with that committee and we're discussing things like what were the key milestones, what were the big impact numbers, what were the stories that we could possibly tell. And I'm going through a discovery session with the client to figure out what is the angle, the theme, and the content that should go inside the annual report. This meeting is usually about one to two hours. All right, after the initial planning meeting is step two, which is concept development. So during our initial planning, this is really kind of like a discovery session just for this 
project for the annual report. Now we have to go to the concept development. This is really me and my team, and it takes us a couple of weeks to develop the initial concept. And so what we're presenting to the client two weeks after our initial planning meeting is going to be a design direction. And so we'll say, this is what the cover should look like. This is what the content inside this annual report. So we're not only giving a design direction, but also a proposed table of contents. We might give it a title. And so maybe the, the annual report has a particular theme and then a messaging direction. And so this is the, the, the direction of the voice, the tone, how long the copy should be, and the overall direction of how this report is gonna be written. Again, that takes us about two weeks after the initial planning session. And then we present that to the client for approval before we go into step three. Now you have to create and collect all of the content. This is the longest part of the whole process because you're writing all of the long form copy, you're maybe interviewing different department heads and figuring out what is the angle of the stories that we're telling. You're gathering all the data. You might not only be doing interviews, but photography by because all of the images that need to go into the report, you're creating all the graphics that need to go in the report. So you're collecting and curating all of the content based off of the table of contents that you agreed to in the concept development. So creating and collecting the content. At the end of this phase, you're really gonna have, what we have is two things. We have a, uh, a Word doc that has all of the words that's just verbatim that's gonna go into the report. And then we have a folder with all of the assets we're going to use to create the report. So that's all the photos, all the graphics, and all the things that we're gonna use to design the report. So we're not necessarily designing, we're creating all the content that's, that's gonna go inside in preparation for step four, which is publication design. So in the fourth step, publication design, if you've done all of the steps in sequence the right way, this part is actually the easiest part, is to design the entire publication. So you've had an initial planning meeting with your client, you know all of the content that should go inside, you've developed and gotten a, a design direction and a theme laid out, and you've written, collected, and curated all of the content that's gonna go in the report. Now you're able to meet with your designers and just fill in the gaps. You're supposed to design the publication. Typically this takes about two weeks. So if the whole process is gonna be uh, a couple of months, the design part can only take a week. It could take a couple weeks, depends on how big uh, the project is and how many other things you have going on. But ideally, if you've done your, your job correctly, you could do it to one to two weeks. And then the very last step is step five is formatting for delivery. And so you have to format this and for the Cameron Health Annual Report, not only do we uh, print it, and so we have to format it for print with all the correct bleeds and you gotta make sure that obviously it's in multiples of four if it's gonna be something that's a saddle stitch publication. Uh, but also we do a digital uh, distribution in a digital publication. So we're doing things like what is the online version of this publication going to look like and then creating the, uh, the blog posts and the social media posts and all the things that are needed to be able to distribute the content out to the people who need to see it. And that's pretty much it. And so the very last thing that we have to focus on now, since we've been doing this since 2015, is just to not get into the same repetitive cycle and have that affect our creativity. We don't want every single annual report to look exactly the same. We really wanna to try to take a creative approach and have every year have its own theme. And so that might even mean bringing in contractors or other designers and getting fresh perspectives of what the, the report could look like. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, if you want the free version of the print PDF that goes with this video, showing you our process laid out for you, click the link in the description wherever you're viewing this and you can get that for free.